We're giving away an Xbox Series S every 10k subs up to 100k. That's 10 consoles in total. To enter, just sub the channel and click the link in the description. Wow! Hype the Madden! G'day mates, Trump Monkey, you happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a good one. As promised today, we're going to be showing you the top 10 running backs you should be looking to pick up day one of Madden 22 Ultimate Team. And we we're getting so close. We're literally like three weeks away from getting our hands on this. Maybe sooner. I'll let you know if I get it early, if I'm allowed to talk about it. Blah. Let's get into it. It's so obvious, the first one. I get it. It's going to be Derrick Henry. Now, the big thing here and the massive thing is that basically uh, Madden 22 playtest played a little bit faster than... Um, in terms of just you know running back and steerability than uh, old gen right or current gen but still more like next gen which means uh, like the power running backs are gonna be your go-to guys and the heavier they are the better it's gonna be so derrick henry 247 pounds he's gonna be dynamite fast king henry obviously if you get your hands on him day one you're going to be sitting pretty. I don't think he's going to be ridiculously expensive either. Like, not necessarily, okay? Then number two, Saquon. Thyquan. I mean, what can I tell you that you don't already know? He has the mutt force factor, as Director and I say, right? Which means that he is going to play out of his skin. He's going to play like a 99 all year round, no matter what overall he is. He'll be fast. He always falls forward and breaks those tackles. 233 pounds. Saquon is going to be dynamite. And the good news is, I guess, from our perspective, he might be a lower overall because he's coming off an injury year. He might be like 82, 83, 84. He might be affordable day one, so you're going to be able to get your hands on him. But this is going to be Saquon's year in Madden Ultimate Team. Madden 22 Ultimate Team is going to be Derrick Henry, Saquon Barkley years. Mark my words. Now, a much more affordable option and someone who should definitely get your consideration as a rookie premiere to choose. Najee Harris. This is my third best ranked running back for day one of Madden 22 Ultimate Team. 230 pounds, 6'2". He thumps. If you played with his rookie premiere, this dude is an absolute mauler. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I, like something in the code, he's got the mop force factor. Day one, his rookie premiere will be a kind of 85-ish overall elite that you could pick. Or you could take just his core goal card. Mid-70s more than likely. This is going to be an absolute budget beast who's going to run through some fools for you. Uh, definitely in head-to-head -head anyway, okay? We, we, got some, we got some solo options for you as well and who to look out for there. Najee Harris is going to be a thumper, though. Mark my words. Next up, Nick Chubb. Very Saquon-esque in the way that he plays in head-to-head -head and the way he plays um, online. So, like, like and, and just in mutt in general. 227 pounds, 5'11", always falling forward, solid speed, solid strength, just a bit of a glitch of, of a card. You won't enjoy playing against him. Therefore, you know you can get inside your opponent's head if you're using him as well. Nick Chubb's going to be great. This is also going to be an awesome year for Zeke. Feed Zeke the ball. 225 pounds, but he runs He runs like he's heavier. He runs like uh, he does, like two, 230s, 240s even. Um, great speed, great strength, always falling forward. Um, like if if they tone, if they actually tune up the the movement a little bit as well. What I love about every option that I'm giving you here is whether um, it's Derek Derek Henry, maybe he's more of like a run straight ahead guy. But Saquon, Najee Harris, Nick Chubb, and Zeke are gonna be dudes that can get shifty on you as well. It's gonna be a very fun year for for Zeke users though. So enjoy that, Cowboys fans. Josh Jacobs. This isn't even a homer pick. Josh Jacobs is one of the most criminally underrated running backs in Madden Ultimate Team every single year since he's come into the game. And Madden 22 Ultimate Team, he's going to be absolutely awesome. He'll have not too much of a crazy overall elite, but he will get an elite to begin with. Solid speed, great strength, always falls forward. He's like a mini Bo Jackson, but can also get shifty. Also has really solid agility. So 219 pounds, plays like he's in his 40s though 240 pounds 100 percent. this dude is a thumper get josh jacobs and uh if you're going to be building a raiders theme team then you'll be getting the extra speed and strength as well cmc comes up next the first of our kind of like receiving backs what we say okay um 
But what what I do like about CMC is as well that that he might only be 200 pounds, but he does full forward. So you're going to notice, you're going to hear me saying that about a lot of these cards, or a lot of these player items right here, is they all play like in a similar way. They have the mud force factor, they're breaking tackles, they're falling forward, they're playing as though they're a lot heavier than they actually are, which is awesome. But CMC is going to be that dual threat for you. You know, you put him on a Texas route, um, man, anything you want, a wheel route, he's going to be killer for you. Um, I was hitting my, my halfbacks a lot on wheel routes when it came to the uh, play test. I think... I think this is going to be the year of the receiving running back like well and truly. So CMC is the best one you can get. He is going to be a little bit pricey day one, which is the only thing I don't like. And honestly, it was very tight, but I want CMC because I think he plays a little bit better in Mutt than the next guy, Alvin Kamara. So Alvin Kamara, very similar. Everything I just said about CMC does apply to him, except the tackle breaking. I feel like CMC just breaks tackles. Now, it's strange though, because Kamara plays at about two, he's, he's 215 pounds. So like, and, and, and 510 as well, but like slightly, slightly heavier, but honestly in game, I'd give the edge to CMC, but obviously another fantastic receiving running back out of the backfield, but will be a little bit pricey as well. That's why he's kind of down my list here. So then we get to our budget beast. Yeah. If you want to just tear it up in solos and actually potentially in head to head, Ronald Jones is going to be a very affordable option. Day one, Madden 22 ultimate team. He will be so, so fast. He will be like really, really fast, okay? He's 97 speeder on a 96 overall in Madden 21, right? So he's going to probably more than likely have a high core gold. Maybe he gets elite. You never know, but more than likely a high core gold that is going to be rather fast day one. I'm thinking 87, 88, 89 speed on day one, which is going to be filthy. Uh, a very good budget option. Can, can catch the ball well enough as well. Okay, great agility. He's not going to break too many tackles. He's the kind of guy you're going to try and get a little bit sticky with. But I love him for the speed in solos and then potentially getting the speed. You see 72 speed on a 96 overall. It's, uh, excuse me, catch. It's not fantastic, but it isn't terrible at all. He'll be good enough receiving the ball, get into some space, run around your opponents. But then the 10th and final running back that you should be looking to get day one, Madden 22 ultimate team. A.J. Dillon, 247 pounds, giant, giant thighs. He is not going to do a whole lot in the speed or the strength department. But this guy falls forward, and it's all to do with that 247 pounds. And more than likely, he'll be a low core gold. So if you're looking for a true a budget beast, a budget brawler to get your trucking going on, Day one, you are more than likely going to be able to set and forget with A.J. Dillon. I'm going to be keeping my eye on his stats early on to see exactly what overall he gets. But I get the feeling it's going to be a low 70s, maybe mid 70s, because he did have a little bit to show there, um, you know, uh, towards the end of the season. But a phenomenal budget piece like Ronald Jones. In fact, you could do you couldn't do terribly badly having both of them in your in your running back stable. You go Ronald Jones for when you really just want to hit a wheel route and get a running back into space for some for some speed. And then A.J. Dillon for when you're just thumping. So there it is. Those are my 10 running backs, top 10 running backs you need to look out for. Uh, day one, uh, Madden 22 Ultimate Team. Uh, down here, in case you missed it, I'm going to leave you uh, with the QBs uh, over there. We're going to leave you with our Madden 22 playlist. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, hey, sub notification come back uh tomorrow wide receivers that's right wide receiver top 10 wide receivers man 22 ultimate team day one tomorrow thanks for watching mates and we'll see you soon happy tuesday